Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm back again, March the 25th. It's Wednesday, and it's now 8.47 p.m., and I was just uh, checking through a few more emails. And this one is from one of our sisters in Christ who is down in Florida. And um, it's called Warning by a Marcus Rogers, whom I have not heard of, but he found this clip. Let me see if he's got his source on here. It, it just, he's, there's nothing. Just category as entertainment. I think some of them do that to uh, avoid, what do you call it, being blocked or whatever. This is only 3 minutes and 53 seconds. And I don't know who these people are. I'd like to know where he got this. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you listen to it. Now, those of you, I'll turn this down. Uh, but you might want to be prepared and turn yours down a little bit too, okay? All right, listen to listen carefully to the lady's question. Now that it might not be so loud, so I'll keep that up. But yours might be. I I don't know how that is that it comes out louder and internally, but it it does. So I'm warning you. All right, <laughs> it's called warning. All right help out. And in the article, um, I know you don't reveal your sources, but I'd like you to elaborate about, about the metal shackles they're going to put on the wrists with the computer chip. And maybe Catherine Albrecht, you can um, add to that comment. Okay, this man is standing in front of a sign. It's like on a church platform. And it says, no king but Jesus. So I'm thinking this is at a church. But it's March 24th, but this could have been recorded a while back. I don't know. It would have been nice to have a link to go check out, but I'll let you listen anyway. I believe one among several plans to ensure that the government's edict of mandated vaccinations and by the way, the state of Oklahoma last week passed through its house just such a law from the state of Oklahoma and its residents that everyone will be vaccinated in the state of Oklahoma. Now, having said that, there are also plans that will ensure that you do not freely travel, nor will you be able to really go anywhere without proof that you have had the vaccination at the point that the government mandates that certain levels of the population take the inoculation. When that happens, I have been told by state troopers across the country that there are plans ready to be implemented that would include roadblocks and choke points, as we call them, major interstate junctions around major cities and so forth where the greatest number of people can be held until they are either they either prove their vaccination by papers or in the case of a medical specialist in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who told me that they had observed a semi-tractor trailer being unloaded at the hospital loading dock, pallets and pallets, scores of cases of metal bracelets that once put on would slip into a place and, and be either uh, pegged in there with some kind of uh, device to hold it in place, but the band was meant to be permanent. On top is a chip. That chip will include all kinds of information about you and the fact that you have been. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute. I remember back in 2009, probably when the H1N1 virus was uh, causing so many deaths, and it was like this epidemic of the COVID. Okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't use quotes. It is an epidemic, but I don't believe it's the COVID. I think it's the H1N1 going around again because they've already admitted that, yes, we're in the 
second half of the flu season, and that is the kind of influenza going around. And it is very deadly, and it is more deadly than the COVID, according to the video I put up earlier. Now, there was a young gal that was dressed in military garb, and she made a video, and she was very nervous about it, and she said, I have to tell you all this. We are setting up roadblocks. Now this was, I saw it in 2012, but it was filmed in 2009. And she said, we're setting up roadblocks. To, to, uh, she, it must have got shut down. Somebody shut it down because it never came to pass. They might have been sitting there, they might have been setting up roadblocks, but somehow God said, not yet. And Obama couldn't get it to go through. It wasn't time yet. So they did try that back then. They just, they didn't, the mark of the beast has to be implanted in the right hand or on your forehead not in a bracelet with a chip on top so they had to improve it and make it better and they had to have your information already in it so I'm sure somebody made the call to shut it down because listen to him he said they brought in a tractor trailer full of these bracelets. Nope, I've never seen anybody wearing one of you. All right, let me play some more. Inoculated. Now this is one of several plants. It has not yet seen the light of day, but it is there. It's in readiness. You choose the poison. It's either slow homicide or slow suicide. They're either going to kill you with the injection, or if you go up and say, sure, I just want to be able to go wherever I want to go, and you take it, to me, that's virtual suicide. Just slow motion suicide. So we've all talked about not getting the vaccination, that's clear. But you may not have a choice. I am told that the plans include buses that will be standing by for people in roadblocks that refuse to take the inoculation the people will then be escorted to the buses and taken, as I was told, in the state I was in at that time when I was speaking to the troopers, you're going to get a free ride to a nice warm bunk at Fort Riley. Well, it, it, it's one of several plans. We can't know until they're implemented, but I assure you that those plans are in place and law enforcement is going to be pulled in. And one of the articles I wrote has said the law enforcement community will enforce a new world order. There will be many that will not, and that's good news for us. But I believe it's still a majority that will be standing in line saying, get your shot or get on the bus. That's what's coming. The Lord told me to tell you, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I've seen that guy somewhere before. He's, uh, a preacher that sweats a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, that really wasn't funny. He was trying to tell people to wake up. Okay, yeah, wake up, wake up. I I don't know when this was filmed. It was a little bit grainy. I'm going to put the link in the description box. You can go watch it. Uh, there's already 69,271 views, and it went up March 24th. I can't believe I've never heard of this guy. He's got 388,000 subscribers. So he's been around a while. I have never heard of him, but I remember. So, um, yeah. There you go. Uh, so that, I'm sorry, I got lost in thought. Uh, the channel is Marcus Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S. The title is Warning. That's it. 
Okay, well, I'll uh, end it there, and I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, over myself and my computer, and over each and every single one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections, too. So, we can stay connected until we're out of here. We need fellowship online. When you comment, and you try to comment to other people's comments and get conversations going back and forth. I don't know if you're stuck at home with some family and you have plenty of folks to talk to or maybe you, you talk on the phone a lot to people or at least one or two and so that's not a big deal to you but to some people especially if you're alone or the people in your household they don't believe like you and you want a fellowship with people, we'll try to get conversation going back and forth in the comment section. And it's it's not the same as in person at a church or in a living room in a small group, but it's better than nothing. At least you're communicating with fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who also love the Lord. And if you're on my channel you probably think pretty much like I do you may not agree with everything but I don't think there's a single channel on here that I agree a hundred percent with everything they say either but that doesn't mean I disclose or just this don't pay any attention to anything they say but <clears throat> depending on what it is I mean I I don't go for anybody that preaches once saved always saved I won't listen to, they don't don't have discernment not a lick of discernment if they can't read the New Testament and figure it out for themselves without anybody beating them over the head with the scriptures they ought to be able to figure it out for yourself why don't they have enough discernment to figure it out for yourself all the many 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 scriptures that talk about things we have to do and things just to love your neighbor as yourself is doing okay so there's that issue and then there's the issue of unity now at the very end of that woman I shared from overseas from Portugal I told you that I had not listened to the entire message but I wanted to get it up well, because it was getting late well, I went back and finished watching the rest of that video, and at the very end, she's talking about these revivals and how they're going to unite with the Catholics and all the denominations, and and it's just going to be wonderful, and uh, just going on and on about it. And I left a comment about it. I don't know if I said anything about this or not in my video. I don't think so, because I hadn't finished watching it. But anyway, uh, I left her a comment and I said, so you're going to be okay with the, doing like the coexist and uniting with the Catholic Church who bows down to the Pope and other denominations that believe in once saved, always saved and other false doctrines you're going to unite with them as if you're all one and I haven't gotten a response usually it'll show up on, under my uh, that little bell and I haven't gotten anything from her so she might have just deleted it but anyway I hope she'll at least think about it the word unity is exactly what the New World Order wants. It's exactly what the false prophet wants. He wants all religions to unite and coexist. And under it's going to be developed under a one world religion. Getting everybody to unite. So if anybody's talking about unity and uniting with all the religions, I don't have a thing to do with them either. And I don't know why I'm going on about this, but apparently I needed to say it. So anyway, with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. Stay safe and keep seeking the truth. And um, with that, I'll say bye for now.
talk to you later.